morning, weeks after devastating wildfires destroyed hundreds of homes in Northern California, we're getting a look at a first of its kind technology that really could reduce the risk of major wildfires. And it involves reusing forest waste. KSR 3's Mike DeSalle joins us now live from a fire station to explain how this would work. Hey, good morning, Deirdre. And yeah, yesterday we got an up close look at this unique piece of machinery. And what's even more unique is that it comes with the promise of not only creating renewable energy, but also potentially reducing the risk of wildfire for homeowners. Take a look. This is the machine, and it was created uh, by this man. It's a first of its kind technology to transform forest debris into renewable natural gas energy. Placer County is serving as the testing ground because county officials say not only is it eco friendly, but also by clearing out all the branches, twigs, and other burnable debris on the forest floor, it could significantly reduce the fuels for and intensity of wildfires. So I asked the inventor, how does he get renewable energy from essentially a pile of mulch? We cook it up, we add some hydrogen, it changes the molecular structure, and out comes methane, which is natural gas. Sure sounds easy, doesn't it? To give you some perspective on how much renewable energy uh, this new technology could create, uh, that inventor said that from the forest debris just in the Forest Hill area of Placer County, he could create enough renewable natural gas to power 4,926 cars for a year. Now, Placer County is serving as the testing ground to see if this new uh, first of its kind technology in the entire world is actually practical and could be used on a much more widespread basis. Interesting to see how this plays out. For now, I'm Mike to sell live in Sacramento. Back to you.